Whilst most children appear to be content glued to computer screens and televisions every weekend, the reality is that most kids really enjoy getting out and about. And that certainly doesn't mean dragging them off to the nearest shopping centre or spending a fortune. In fact, a recent survey commissioned by Admirals said that over a third of parents did nothing with their kids at the weekend. So, what do kids want to do at the weekends? Well, I've come to this school to find out. Who's got something that they'd really like to do at the weekend? Oh, you've all got something, OK. I'm going for a two-mile bike ride. I like playing out with my friends. Go camping. I like taking my dogs out for long walks. Walks with the dog, OK. I'm going for a picnic. Picnic? And how often do you get to go for picnics? Not very OK. I'd love to go to the beach. As uh, well. Beach? Great. So it seems that kids are really keen and enthusiastic to get out and about and do loads of things in the great outdoors. So here are my top tips to make the most out of your family day out. Now we all know that the British weather can be unpredictable. It's not always going to be a sunny day like it is today. So be prepared, think ahead and plan your trip before you leave home. If there's any chance of rain, put in your waterproofs. Make sure you've got appropriate shoes. If you don't want your car to get muddy, put in plastic sheeting. Take a plastic bag so you can put in the muddy shoes and clothes and always pack extra outfits. Take some snacks and drinks because if the kids are running around, they're going to be hungry. And if you're going to be doing a long car journey, take some books or some games to play in the car and then everyone arrives happy. A trip to the woods is always a popular family day out. It evokes a sense of adventure in big kids and little ones alike. But as well as having fun having an adventure and kicking around in the leaves, it can also be educational. There's always plenty of wildlife to see in a woodland. You can look under logs to see if you can see insects, but if creepy crawlies aren't your thing, then how about getting one of these? Or you can print off a leaf identifier on the internet and you can get everybody to look at leaves and see which trees they come from. What's that one then? <laughs> Another fun thing you can do as a family in the woods is go for a natural treasure hunt and see what you can find lying around, whether it's interesting stones, nuts, berries, leaves. There's all sorts of things if you really look. Whether you live in the countryside or the city, there's always green spaces to be found. And chances are, you might even see some swings to play on. But it's always a good idea to take a football or a frisbee so you can all get involved in a bit of physical activity. And of course, don't forget the picnic. It won't be long before we're all looking forward to the holidays, but you don't need to step on an aeroplane to get a bit of sun, sand and family fun. After all, Britain's an island and nowhere is too far from the sea. Whatever the weather, the beach is always a great family day out. Kids enjoy nothing better than making sandcastles, dams and running in and out of the waves. And after a day on the beach, you can all go and enjoy fish and chips or an ice cream. So switch off the television, get away from the computer, get the family together and enjoy the great outdoors.